right. Talk to you later. All right. Well, I think we're live and here come the people. So welcome. And Tomas, you're staying with us or you're going? Can't <laughs> and we can't you. hear you. <laughs> we can see you. I'm not in, in picture right now. Yeah, no, we see yes, you. I am. Okay, yeah. hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> Tomas, get out. Okay, the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Well, <laughs> welcome, y'all. There we go. Welcome, y'all. We're going to get started yeah. in a moment. This is still just a little warm up as people join us. And there will be questions. You can ask questions in the chat. And Bonnie will be monitoring the chat and the Q&A and sharing links and if you have questions, did I say that? <laughs> Just put them in the chat and we'll grab them. Yes. But still a few people joining. So let's give a grace minute. And you know what I like to do at the beginning of something like this is just slow it all down. And oh, somebody said the chat is um, disabled. Chat is disabled. All right. So we need to fix that. Hi, EG. Or maybe everyone should just put everything. Let's see. Attendees can chat with everyone. Try that. There it is, maybe. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who knew? Hi, Ingrid. <laughs> Bonsoir. All right, and most of you know, again, before we get started, we're just slowing it all down and we're taking a breath. And um, most of you know that I can only do one thing at a time. So I won't be in the chat, but Bonnie will. And Bob, you won't be in the chat. No, either. I can't even unitask. That's, how <laughs> <laughs> That's a good all way right. to put it. And there's still a bunch of people coming. We did have a lot of people sign up for this. So thanks, y'all, for, for signing up and showing up. And uh, just I'll just give you a little preview. Again, we haven't really started for real yet. Um, we're going to talk with Bob and Bonnie for the first bit. And then we're going to show and walk through the Simplest Marketing Planner, the, the new one that I just released. And then we're going to show the brand new, I have a brand new website also, by the way, <laughs> today. And uh, and the landing page for the planner. And then we'll show you how to do it uh, and talk a little bit about this new program that I've been kind of teasing about. And then you'll have 61 minutes to buy because remember, I'm 61. And at my birthday fiesta, we had an event and we had 61 minutes and that worked really well. So we're trying that again. So you'll have 61 minutes if you want to get all the Cyber Monday deals and bonuses today. All right. So I think we are ready to officially get started. So let me just take a moment here. All right. Welcome y'all to the Cyber Monday show. Some people are calling it for the Simplest Marketing Plan, the launch of the 2023 Simplest Marketing Plan. And I'm so glad you're here with us. Thank you so much. And I am thrilled that Bob Bly is with us. Hello, Bob. Hey, Elise. Good to see you. Good and to Bonnie Fanning is with us. Hello, Bonnie. Hi from Snowy Bend, Oregon. And let's just start with introductions because we don't want to assume everybody knows who everybody is. So Bob, would you give us your elevator pitch? When someone says, what do you do, Bob? What do you say? Well, guys, you know, I'm a copywriter and before the internet, this was my elevator pitch. I used to say to people, they'd ask me what I do. I say, well, you know how at the office and at home you get a lot of junk mail? And they'd say, yeah. I'd say, I write junk mail. But of course now I still write junk mail but I also write digital mail and websites. So I've been a, a what we would call a contract freelance copywriter, mm -hmm. writing for clients continuously for over four decades. That's what I do. 
And I love the way you frame your elevator pitch as you know how, and then you fill in the blank. I love that structure of it as one of many possible structures. Mm -hmm. And I also love the way you talk about junk mail, because a lot of people don't want to say they do junk mail, but junk mail works, right? Marketing works when you do it. That much we know. So you kind of frame it in the positive light. You wink at it a little bit, right? Absolutely. And I, I was, uh, you know, I, I used to say that I was a copywriter when I started. Mm -hmm. And I found that more than half the people had no idea what you mean, like you copyright stuff like books in Washington, D.C. So mm -hmm. I had to use something else. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's still the case, although perhaps more and more people know what a copyright is. I think today, is. yeah. All right. And Bonnie, give us your elevator pitch, please. Hi, um, I would like to not give you my elevator pitch and instead give you guys some context because um, I was a copy and content writer. I still am a copy and content writer, but I was an in-house copy and content writer in the Agora world for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And as of three months ago, I'm freelance like you guys. Congratulations. So, thank you. So mm -hmm. I've been working on an evolving elevator pitch and I'm excited to continue sharing what that looks like uh, as time goes on but you're not going to tell us right now. <laughs> All right, fine. All right. So then, um, Bob, I brought you here today. I invited you here today and you graciously accepted. And I want to talk about two things with you. Um, the first is about sticky situations that come up with clients. And I have a couple of examples. And some of the people with us today may remember a webinar we did in April of 2022 called What to Say When. And we promised there would be more of that. And there will be more of that. But one of the things we've done with the webinar and the content from the webinar is turn it into an ebook, which is one of the Cyber Monday bonuses that people get when they buy the Simplest Marketing Plan today. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's sure. in it. And then we'll talk about the Simplest Marketing Plan tools and the three tools. And I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you, not only how you do each one, if you do each one, but how you feel about them. Because I know a lot of people have feelings about all these oh, yeah. tools, right? All right. So let's do, I picked three examples of situations, sticky client situations. And I want you to tell me how you think about this, what you would say, or what I would say, since you know what I would say. Mm -hmm. So the first one is your prospect wants a price immediately before you're ready to give it, whether on the phone or in an email message. What do you do if you're not ready to give a price to someone, but they keep pushing kind of maybe aggressively for it? Well, two things. First, as you and I have discussed many times, if someone says the first question out of their mouth is, what do you charge? To me, they're almost disqualified as a prospect. Why? Because they don't care about the quality of your work. They don't care whether you're a good fit. They're price buyers. And that's a whole, you can make a whole seminar out of that. But price buyers, and some people are price shoppers, price buyers. In a service business, they're the death to the service business. You don't want them. Mm -hmm. They're the most difficult clients and the least profitable. But what I would say when someone says, can you give me a price? I say, well, let's talk. Tell me a little more about the project. And then I begin in a, in a truncated form. I don't want to spend an hour with them, but in a truncated five, seven minute form, I ask them some of the questions I would ask if I had been given the assignment. So I know enough to give them a cost estimate. And that's mm -hmm. how I handle it. Mm -hmm. Bonnie, as a new freelancer, what do you think about that? Well, I'm sitting here wondering, you know, do you, have you done all the legwork ahead of time of figuring out kind of what your range is and prices before approaching any of this? Not for the specific yeah. client, but in terms of the range. And I'd be glad to send uh, you or anyone else uh, this document. I have a published fee schedule. It's not on my website, but it's a three page PDF that lists the range of what I charge for everything. How much for a newspaper ad? How much for a lander, a landing page? How much for an email? And I say on the fee schedule, you can't use it as a menu, but you, it gives you an idea of the range. So when they have it in front of them, they kind of know what it's going to be more or less. So yes, and I've had that since the beginning. I started freelancing in February 1982. 
And I had this, you know, in 1981. So let's say that if you know what your prices are and you're ready to put them out there, whether you're established or new, then this is one way to do it. On the other hand, if you don't know yet what your prices are, then actually one of the other Cyber Monday bonuses is a video called Mastering the Money Conversation. And that's where I try to teach people how to love it as much as I do. And also what you do in the money conversation is gauge what the prospect or client can afford because you can base your price on what they can afford and give them what you can for what they can afford. That's a totally opposite way of approaching it. Bob, what do you think of that approach? Yeah, the, 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 the way I do that, if I'm doing that, and I don't usually do it, I don't say to client, well, what's your budget? I find people don't like that because they say, well, well, what kind of game, game is this? Tell me what you charge. Mm -hmm. I say to them, do you have a budget for this mm -hmm. project? And the ones who say yes, I say, would you mind sharing with me what that is? Now, if some say, no, I don't have a budget, the snotty answer that I don't give is, well, how are you going to pay for it? But the, you know, what if they say, no, I don't have a budget, I say, do you at least have a dollar figure in your mind of what you want this to cost? And almost everyone does. Right. And sometimes they do, but don't even know it. And Bonnie. Until you say that. Right. Or what else, Bonnie, do you say to get them to tell you what they don't know they know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. In the I chat, it's I know quiz. <laughs> it's a pop quiz. I sorry, I forgot to tell you there was a pop quiz. No, it's I'm kind of famous for it. And I, I am you sure are. in oh, the yes. chat people are saying, right, it's my kind of infamous well, 500, yes. 5,000 or 50,000. Where are you on that. the spectrum, right? All right. I should have EG would just come in with the answer. That's right. Before. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's move on to the second situation. I picked three, and I think we have time for all three. Um, Bob, what do you say or do if your prospect ghosts you after you send a proposal and an estimate? So you follow up and they just don't respond. What do you do? I don't think it's universal. As you like to say, it's case by case basis. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I rate my prospects by the quality. Do I really want them or are they, eh, or, you know, I don't care one way or the other. And I use a rating system that's diamond, gold silver and copper. And the names are almost self-explanatory. If they're a diamond, I'll definitely follow up. If they're a gold, I probably will. If they're a silver, maybe, maybe not. And if they're a copper, I won't even follow up. And what do you say when you follow up and they're not responding? There are, well, you, you know, there are. What did I tell you to say? Well, I have it written down somewhere, but what I, you, you, what I, you, you had a really good one that I use a lot. Which one is it? You said, send an email. It's not, a, it's not an oral thing. You said an email, hi, Jim, is this project still on the table? Question mm -hmm. mark. And that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And it works. Cool. But Bonnie, what do you think of that? I just, I love that after 40 years in the business, Bob, you've actually collected all of these things that Elise has told you to say and put them somewhere so that you could use them because uh, they work. Yeah, I have because Elise... I'm not great at speaking with people in this manner, and Elise is, so we've been working together for years, and I said, let me start to collect them, and I have this huge file, you know, it's a sort of a swipe file of what to say when, which is what we've produced. Exactly, that's the ebook, what to say when. All right, and I'll probably show uh, the cover when I show the planner document. All right, last one, Bob. Uh, a good client asks for a price reduction because they won't end up using the work you did after all, and you didn't get a deposit, what do you do? Well, you're asking that because this actually happened to me. Today. And I tend to be easier on people. First mm -hmm. of all, it's a very rare situation for me. I tell people always get a deposit. Mm -hmm. I have a few old time clients that we've been working together so long, sometimes we just don't bother. So this guy, a uh, very favorite client, uh, you know, he had a reason for cancellation. And he said, uh, can I give you, uh, you know, a small amount of money to take care of it? And my standard kill fee, I tell him, I appreciate what you're saying. He said, because I'm not going to use it. So meaning it's worthless. I say, I understand you're not going to use it. 
but I still spent my time doing it. And then I added time, which I cannot get back. And so I said, my standard, this is my, the language I use. My policy is a standard kill fee of 50%. Next sentence. Does that work for you? Question mark. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Bonnie, what do you think? Well, I, you know, I was just thinking like, I am a people pleaser and I know a lot of this stuff is helpful for us people pleasers just mm -hmm. to have something in your pocket that you know to say, but it's, I can only imagine it's the hardest the first time you say that to somebody and it kind of gets easier as you go. Is that your experience, Bob? Well, you know, I, I was a, uh, I don't want to say volatile young man, but I was an immature young man. I may be an immature old man, but <laughs> But yeah, the first time you hear it, it's not pleasant, but you learn not to react to it personally. It's, you know, it's a, it's a cost of doing business. And I used to tell people, just assume that 10 to, not 10%, just assume that two to 3% of your receivables each year will not be collectible. Mm. And do you, don't get emotional about it. Do you wish you had gotten a deposit from that good client? Um, it was a small job mm -hmm. and he is going to pay my uh, kill fee as we call it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I should, not I always say you should, but I, and people who call me freelancers, I say to them, you always should. And you should with current, good, new clients. Sometimes, you know, I, I don't, I talk the talk, uh, but I don't always walk the talk. That's honest. I appreciate that. I'm sure everybody appreciates that. And I also say always get a deposit, even on people you know, and even on projects that are small, because this could happen. I mean, it's not personal. It has nothing to do with your work. They're just not going to end up using it. That's it. Yeah. In this case, he was doing it. Uh, he was, he's a publisher and one of his uh, editors of one of his newsletters said, you know what? I don't want to do the newsletter. So he said, mm -hmm. Bob, I, I have no use for it. And right. that was his logic, yeah. Right. Elise, I know that you do want to get to um, how Bob does his marketing, yeah. uh, but I, there are a couple of questions that came in about this. Would you okay. like to- Go ahead, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, just one that I think is important. Um, what if they say, no, that's not okay with me? You mean, which, that to the 50 the you, say, you know, this is my kill fee is 50 Well, I'll give a real life example surprisingly to me, he did. He says, wow, this, um, you know, this is really burning a hole in my pocket. And I said, okay, um, let's meet in the middle. Uh, you offer this much. I offered, I said, it's half. The middle fee is close to me, close to them. And they were fine with that. I'm, I'm easy. I, I am also, and some people are critical of me. They say, you shouldn't be this way. I'm also like you, Bonnie, I'm a people pleaser. But you're not a doormat, right? There's a difference between be, being a people pleaser and a doormat. No, I'm not a doormat. <laughs> what, what, what would you define a doormat as? Uh, as someone who says, okay, no problem, and doesn't even try to negotiate, no. right? No. Yeah, no. And it's also, like you always say, at least case specific. Very case by case, for sure. All right. What other questions are there, Bonnie? Um, and then people are just asking, so that's a 50% deposit. Mm -hmm. that well, normally, yeah, standard. I get a 50% deposit. And if you don't continue, I hold the deposit. You don't get it back. That's and the that's kill thing. Mm -hmm. And I say yeah. so in my agreements, my client agreements. Great. And I think that answers the majority of the questions we've had about that. Um, All right. So let's talk about how to get those clients in the first place, Bob. And I'm going to um, go over the three tools in okay. the Simplest Marketing Plan, which I maintain, I submit to all of y'all. These are the only three tools you need to get better, better clients with bigger budgets or bigger clients with better budgets. It goes both mm -hmm. ways. And um, I'm going to define them. And then Bob will go one by one and you can tell me how or if you use them and how you feel about them. Okay. So the first one is what I call high quality bat signal content marketing, which is all about what your market, your niche, your clients and prospects need and care about as opposed to what you know about. So how do you do, I know you do a lot of content marketing, Bob, even before it was called content marketing, you and I were both doing it. So what's your favorite um, content marketing tool? Maybe well, I, we'll say it that I way. use it all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that, I have a lot of them I love, but if I had to pick one for me, 
it's books. I write books on topics. I, yeah, I write books on many topics, but I write a certain number of books on topics that relate to the professional services I offer. Uh, and uh, the books serve two purposes. They bring in business. I get a phone call or an email. Hey, I'm reading your book. Can you do this for us? Or I, I, uh, I have a client that says, well, we're thinking of hiring you. And I send them as a follow-up the book in the mail. And that closes a lot of sales. So book is number one. Bonnie, would you do that? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> well, maybe at some point. Yeah, but I was thinking, you know, that's probably the format that fits you best, Bob. And it that's is, an advanced, I'm, I'm a, I'm a advanced book person. content marketing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about basic content marketing? Bonnie, do you have an idea for basic content marketing? I mean, uh, newsletters. Mm -hmm. Your own newsletter. newsletter, your own blog, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And what if someone isn't a writer and doesn't like to write or can't stand writing or, or gets stuck and has no idea what to say? Then what kind of content marketing could they do? Bob and then Bonnie. Let's see if you both Two have types. different ideas. Number one, audio or video. A podcast mm -hmm. would be ideal. Or, you know, an audio interview. Now, if you if it's just you, get a, get a friend or a colleague to interview you so it's mm -hmm. more lively. And, and post that MP3 on your website or send it out. And, uh, you know, if you um, also don't like to write, but you don't want to do what I just said, hire a ghostwriter. There's plenty of, at all levels, and Bonnie knows this because she was involved with AWAI, and some of you are, hire a ghostwriter who's a content writer mm -hmm. and have them do it for you. And some people feel like that's cheating, especially if they are a writer. It's not, here's, people ask me, do you use writers? I, I don't subcontract any of my copywriting. Every word of copy I write for clients, I write. Uh, for my content pieces to market my services, I personally uh, write it all myself. But in my info marketing business, I do hire content writers. And I don't pretend that I wrote their content. I put their name on it. But for example, I, we decided we wanted to do an ebook on SEO. I'm not an expert. Why, should, why, why not get an expert? So I, you know, I hired an expert and she wrote it and I edited it and we got both our names on it. Excellent. Bonnie, any other content marketing tools you can think yeah. of or would prefer? Well, I, there's a lot of people chiming in actually oh, yeah? uh, saying podcast and um, Victor actually had this really great idea. You can always curate others' content that you find valuable and add your two cents onto mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, and you see people, you know, doing that on LinkedIn a lot, doing a mix. They'll curate some other people's content. They'll mm -hmm. run something they ran a long time ago. And you can also, there's like slideshows. You, if you're a designer or if you are very visual or you're, you know, in that path, you could do a slideshow that has just a little bit of text on each slide. There's so mm -hmm. much, so much you can do. And let's just briefly talk a little bit about video because video is getting more and more popular and people love to watch videos. And I'm thinking of Carrie Lemon, who I think is with us today also, who has been doing these awesome videos, just five, or five minutes on LinkedIn, very spontaneous, very real, very authentic. I think that's the future of video right now. That's where things are going and that's what people want to watch. I 100% agree with that. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on to um, tool number two in the Simplest Marketing Plan, which is strategic networking, not to be confused with random networking, which is not at all strategic. And random networking is essentially like just going to any event because it's called a networking event, whether or not you think your people are going to be there. And strategic networking is getting to know more and more as you go who exactly your people are and going where they go. So Bob, what do you do or how do you feel or both about strategic networking? So here's how I handle it. I know the value, but I am an extreme, and you wrote a book about this, I'm an extreme introvert. Mm -hmm. And I was just never comfortable. You know, I, I realized like I would go to a, a local business marketing association meeting and I'd get there a little late and people would be in little circles speaking. So what do I break into the circle? It was very uncomfortable for me. So what I said is I like speaking and a better way for me to network. And this won't work for everybody because a lot of people hate public speaking. I would always get, I network at places where I get invited as 
the, the keynote speaker, the lunch speaker, or the dinner speaker. And the two advantages for me is, number one, it, I don't have to be shy because when you're the speaker, the attention focuses on you. They come to you. I don't have to try to talk to them. And number two, it positions you above everyone else in your field who's trying to network. And the thing that's really, um, this is why I love these three tools. So what you just described is essentially the combination of advanced content marketing, being a speaker, and networking, put, putting yourself in a situation where you can meet people in real time in person. And if I remember correctly, Bob, way back when, didn't I meet you at one of those events? You were the speaker, I believe. Oh, I was the speaker. I can't remember. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, you're, you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. And I approached you afterwards and said, you know, you know, can we do stuff? So that's yeah. right. I was the speaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. All right, Bonnie, you want to add anything or are there yeah. people saying things about this? Yeah. I mean, there's some people saying an introvert, he likes public speaking, but I can yeah. completely attest to that because I'm also an introvert. You, it's just that you have control when you're on stage. It's mm -hmm. totally different. But I also wanted to mention that, you know, um, I think when a lot of people think of networking, they think of face-to-face, -face, which is probably the most powerful, but it doesn't have to be the only way. And I know that you also give a lot of tips on how to do that through LinkedIn. Especially on LinkedIn, for sure. Yes. And actually, that links nicely to the third tool, which is targeted outreach, which is essentially choosing the people you want to work with, because that's the whole point of being self-employed is that you get to choose who you want to help, who you want to work with, and they just don't know you exist yet. And so the whole point of targeted outreach is to, or one of the points actually, is to introduce yourself to these people. And once is not enough, it takes several outreach efforts to do that. That's what we have in the Simplest Marketing Plan. And you have to basically get uh, a little bit of their mental real estate until they're in their moment of need and think of you and know how to contact you and already trust you so that you can make that connection. That's how the dots of all of this connect. So Bob, your take on targeted outreach. Now, I don't know that this would fall in that category. If it's not, I'll come up with something else. For me, a primary is my e-newsletter. Mm -hmm. I get people to sign up because they're interested in something I'm offering. And then they hear from me uh, a couple of times a week. Uh, so, and I get on that list. I mean, there's some people on the list that they're just reading it and that's fine. There's some people on the list who are not potential clients, but they buy books and other things from me. But there are also my potential clients are on that list. And that does what you just said, top yeah. of mind awareness. Yeah, so that's also a combination of content marketing, yes. right? So the newsletter is content marketing. And what you're talking about is when you have had a conversation with a prospect and then you put them on your newsletter list. And then when they're ready, they respond and say, oh, hey, Bob, we've got a project for you. And I call that newsletter magic. And that's what happens. Again, how these tools work beautifully together. You can't just do one and think it's enough. On many occasions, I've gotten calls or emails from someone who says, I love your newsletter or I read your newsletter. I've been doing it for years. We have a project. Mm -hmm. Happens a lot. Yeah. Bonnie? Yeah. It seems like um, these things are all so interconnected, all three of these things. And there's a little they bit are. like a blurry line between them sometimes. But, you know, like the people I've heard of who have taken your programs, at least, and who have become really successful, it sounds like the key is just being consistent. Like you don't have to do any of them perfectly. Mm -hmm. You just have to continue oh. doing them. Do you think exactly. that's true, Elise? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, it's all about the consistency. And that's how you get rid of feast or famine, right? Often what people do is they just can't bring themselves to do the marketing on a regular basis. You do a bit of it and then you don't have accountability. And so no one's watching. You think no one's listening. No one's paying attention. Oh, it's not really working. What? Why, why am I spending my time on this? Right. And so there's a lot of stories that we tell ourselves that get in the way of actually doing the marketing. That's probably going to be a good segue to talking about the planner and the program that I'm offering. But before we go there, Bob, uh, just any last kind of tips, marketing tips that you would give the people about any of the things that we're talking about? A lot of people when they're marketing in any business 
say, I got, I'm going to go out and market so I can get money. People will hire me. Your focus should be first on how are you going to help that client? Not, you know, you want the job, you want the money, but are you the right person? Do you have the right ideas? Maybe something else would be better for them. I can't tell you how many times I, I've had a client say, hey, we want to do a Magalog, which would pay me twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. And I say, listen, we could do that, but you only need a postcard. And it's you know, a few hundred dollars or whatever I was charging at the time. Always do it to their benefit. You know, mm -hmm. if there's going to, if someone is going to come out a little uneven in the relationship, you should let the client come out ahead. And that will build trust as you go. And they will really appreciate your honesty and that you're just not trying to get the money and be very grabby. And I think that bodes well for an ongoing relationship as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yes. All right, Bonnie, anything else in the chat we should address before we move on? Um, there are a couple of questions, but I think we can hold on to them for now. Okay, let's hold on to the questions. So now uh, what I want to do, and Bob, as we go, if you have comments or questions, okay. please feel free. But I want to do a quick overview of the new Simplest Marketing Planner which is the PDF document. And I have a new program, which is a 12 month long program that we're offering. It's a total experiment. It's in beta. I expect a small group of people to be in on this. And I, I'm especially looking for people who are serious about the consistency of doing their marketing on an ongoing basis and just need help with accountability and skill building and just community to get it done. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, but if the planner is all you need, then that's great. And I'm going to walk you through it. But the thing that I'm um, especially excited about with this 12-month program is that it's essentially the planner and the and the monthly office hours, which comes with it. And then I'm adding a lot of live events because what I have been feeling in the last year is that it's really hard for me to help people whose business I don't know, right? I can give general advice. I can say, use these three marketing tools. But if you ask me a question and I don't know your business, it's hard for me to give you the best answer. And so this program is actually my way of saying, come closer so that I can get to know you better and that you can get the skills that you need to do your marketing and we'll do it together. That's kind of what we're saying is we're going to do it together. You're going to get it done together. Right, Bonnie? Is, am I forgetting anything there? No, I think that's the biggest part of it is mm -hmm. that. It, you do give a lot of time and space actually to get the stuff done together. Yeah, that, that I really feel like that's what people need, like not more webinars, not more content, but time and space to do the work. So that's the that's the um, essence of this simplest marketing plan and program. So we basically added a P and uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about what you get with it in more detail. And, uh, but first we're going to walk through the planner because I want you to see the planner. So while you're doing that, we have some people saying, I'm a beta test junkie. I need accountability. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> then it will be perfect for you. All right. So here is the 2023. This is version five. I've been doing this for five years. Simplest marketing plan. I'm just going to quickly walk through the document. So, and it's shorter and simpler than ever before, because a lot of people said it's too much. I can't read all of this. So I have really distilled it to its essence. And it is really, I know I say this every year, but it is simpler than ever before. So a note from me about what's in it and what you get, and then a page on the big idea. And you'll notice that on each page, there's a little video that you can watch that elaborates on what's on that page. And then for each also, I've outlined the right expectation I want you to have and the thing I want you to do for each of these elements. So it's really structured and hopefully easy to follow. And then as everyone should know by now, the office hours, the monthly office hours has become like the centerpiece of the simplest marketing plan. So it is a live event every month, not always on the same day. So you'll get the schedule if you get this. But in it, uh, 
it's kind of motiv motivational and inspirational and I share excellent examples and Bonnie is the new co-host of the office hours with me so we're going to be talking about everything and then I also do, as some of you who've already been know, a 15-minute breakout networking session of three or four people in each group. So you really get time with some of the other people in the program as well. So just a whole page about the office hours. And by the way, this link right here goes to the playlist of 50 plus, right? All the office hours I've ever done in the last five years. So that's a bonus. Then the weekly marketing schedule. So everybody wants something to fill out. So here, are the, here come the things to fill out, what you're going to do every day, and then lots of ideas about what you could do. And the thing is, you're going to make a new one of these every month, basically, or every week, or as much as you want. But you've got this one document, and you just keep making copies of it. Right, Bonnie? Is that clear? Totally. I feel like this is exactly what I need. <laughs> <laughs> And Bob, what do you think so far? Well, since we have such a relationship, I was going to beg you off camera that you do it for me, but maybe mm -hmm. we can do it together. But yes, uh, I, you know, I, in terms of planning, you know, the expression, the shoemaker's uh, children have no shoes. I, I do. do it for clients all the time, yeah. but I'm a little ne negligent for myself. I'll do it with you, Bob. Thank you. And you can join the program too, if you want. Uh, you got it. All right. Then we have a page on who are your people and what are their pain points. And there's also, I don't know if you can see this, but the list of trade associations and, oh shoot, I can't remember where it is. All right. Uh, okay, never mind. Um, but there is a whole video there about who are your people and how to find them. And then, oh, here it is. It's on this page. Uh, so then there's a page for each tool. So first tool, high quality content marketing, a video to watch and things to fill out about what you're going to do and what format you'll use. And right here is the thing I was looking for, the pain point into content worksheet, right? So that's a worksheet that will help you figure out what, what the heck are the pain points that I should determine, do my content on. That's tool number one. Tool number two, strategic networking for those who don't like networking, especially. But even if you do, what questions do you have for your people when you go to an event or attend an event? Right. So that kind of thing to fill out here and another video to watch. And then tool number three, targeted outreach. So the four step campaign, which includes these three simple steps and the prospect tracker. So here's the video to watch. And then the prospect tracker is next. This, whoops, <laughs> there it is. The template that you will make your own copy of to work from that's highlighted in yellow. Bonnie? Yes. We can't actually see if you have the document open. We can't oh, see. We're yeah, still yeah, looking yeah. at the planner right now. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. I accidentally clicked on it. But um, it, basically what you would see is what you see right there. And so if you click on that, it's so easy. It goes right to the template that you should leave on the Google Sheet, not download onto your computer or it will break the formulas. But it basically is kind of a mini CRM, mini um, uh, automated system that helps you do the targeted outreach. That's what we've created there. And then here's the place where you track everything. And I've really distilled it to the things that I think are the most important to track, like how much money do you want to earn per month and how many of which types of product projects do you need and at what rates to reach that financial goal. And then there's a formula to fill out here and then even a place to put in your new clients this month. So again, you're going to create a new one of these, just copy it for each month. And then almost finally here, connecting the dots, I've got two uh, people, two videos, one from Kevin Kernan, who talked recently about Sesame Street marketing, just how he uses the tools together. And another from Lauren Wickware, who is a book designer. So just more content to watch. And then here's the place where we've got all the essential links. So the Zoom link to join the monthly office hours and the replays of the office hours and the prospect tracker. And this link right here, I'm not going to click on it right now, is 
many more resources. It's the secret landing page for the simplest marketing plan where if this isn't enough for you, you just click, click over there and get it. All right, so any questions there before we go on to the landing page and I show you a little bit? Yes, there is one person who was asking what industries could you apply this to? And also before you answer that, everybody, um, make sure you put your questions in the Q&A because I can't actually type in the chat for some reason to you guys. So just throw them in the Q&A and I'll get to them as much as I can. So industries, what this would be best for. So, I mean, this, this process, this approach is good for anyone marketing um, services, basically. I talk about it as creative services, but it could be coaching services. It could be health services, any kind of service. And, and the reason for that is because people who need to develop relationships with their market, with their people, content marketing, outreach, and networking are the three relationship building tools, essentially. And so that's the crux of it. All right. I hope that answered the right question. So, Bob, you want to say anything else about what you see here? No, it's just that, uh, you know, people will, I've noticed some of the comments, people say, well, uh, once I'm immersed in a big project, someone said, I, I have to let marketing go. But you said you wanted, I have a, an online video somewhere that says, ABM, always be marketing. Yeah, absolutely. You, you said it the best. You want to avoid the crisis low crisis yeah. that so many uh, people t get. And if you stop marketing, yeah, you're real busy with that project. And then you finish it and you go, what, what am I going to work on now? Exactly. And there's not enough leads in the pipeline. Right. And that's exactly how I've designed this. So that once you have your tools in place, you don't need to be thinking, what marketing do I need to do? Right. You've got your newsletter. You've got your list of 10 people. You've got your uh, five people that you're following up with because those are your A leads and they're about to convert, especially if you reach out to them and stay in touch. Right. So the whole idea is if you don't have to do anything more than three at the most. Right. And when you get really busy, maybe you do one of the three but they all work together. That's my concept. And I know it works because we've got a lot of people who have been really successful actually at this. So Bonnie, anything else before we look at the landing page? And you can, you're welcome to share the link to the landing page if you haven't already. I am madly typing answers right now. Um, okay. And um, Tomas is actually sharing the link because I can't type in the chat. To oh, you guys that's weird. Okay. Yeah, but the link is in there if you guys want to see that. And you already told them they have, 61 minutes yes well and the 61 minutes starts when we end Even. this so it hasn't yeah. started yet you have time, you have time. don't yeah, rush before you go there um you guys might want to hear a little bit more about what at least yeah to i'm going to walk you through it because it's brand new and there might be a few glitches or it may not be clear i hope it's clear we'll see so i'm going to share my screen here and this is, thank you, Maureen Adamo, designer extraordinaire, a steward of my brand for this brand new website and landing page. And so we've got our countdown timer right there. So that's when the sale ends. And basically, you know, you've got two options to choose from the planner, which is $49 today. And that's the simplest option. And then the program, as I was saying, is a 12 month long program and it's 50% off today only. So that's 588 and you can pay in installments. So we'll come back here. I just wanna show you what's on the page. There's a comparison table so you can see what you do and don't get. And really the main difference between the two, the planner does not have the live events basically. That's what this is. Special admission to four of my four week skill building intensive. So anyone who did the LinkedIn intensive this past year knows what that is. And then there are going to be twice monthly co-working sessions. A lot of people were doing that and they were very helpful. So that's included in the program twice a month. And then a monthly live ask me anything session as well. And a 24 seven private Slack channel for community. Those are the four things that are in, in Included in the program. And then uh, it also includes the planner, of course, and the monthly office hours. So 
if you really need more accountability, more me by your side, more other people as a witness to your process and your marketing to actually get it done, then the program is what I recommend. All right. And then we have all these bonuses again today only. The new ebook that Bob and I were talking about earlier, What to Say When by Bob Bly and Elise Benin. And then we've got three video training sessions. One is called How to Avoid Feast or Famine Forever. Another one called How to Care Less and Earn More. That's a, something that me and Terry Trespicio did earlier this year, a conversation with actually, you know, when I talk to her, she always gets me thinking about things I've never thought of before. And so lots of brand new ideas and kind of out of the box thinking uh, that surprised me. So it might surprise you too. And then, as I said earlier, another video called Mastering the Money Conversation. So those are the two options. We're trying to make it really easy. You can just buy the planner. You get the monthly office hours. There's going to be a special onboarding session for everyone in January. Or if you're really serious and you want to be part of my inaugural beta testing small cohort for this year-long program, then this is the option to go for. All right. Any questions before I scroll down a little bit more, Bonnie? Whew. This question, this Q&A is hot. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a lot of questions. We've got a lot of people going in and buying right now. So okay, good. Um, people are asking about the... Um, the payments and installment and stuff like that. So we can get to that in just a minute. Sure. Um, one person was asking, you know, if I really, I know that for my business, I can only focus on two of the three main um, legs of marketing mm -hmm. that you talk about. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Can I still participate? Absolutely. Oh yeah. You don't have to do all three things to participate in the program. I want you to learn them and then you're gonna do them in the way that makes the most sense for each of you, each of y'all, as they say down here. So yes. Awesome, thank you. All right, so just to see what's on the landing page, I did a video. So there's a new video explaining everything. So I'm not gonna go into all the details right now, but it's in the video. And then just a little overview of the planner. That's what this is about the planner. And Rebecca Mays, who I've been working with over the last year and has been uh, doing really well with the planner and the whole process. So she made a little uh, testimonial for me for that. And then more testimonials, nice things people are saying about just how effective it is when you do it. And then if you forgot what the three tools are, then we've outlined them here and these are collapsible. So you can open them up and see what the tools are. It's not a secret, right? These tools are not a secret. It's just that you have to do them. There's Danielle basically saying, there's no way to quantify how my life has changed since working with Elise and being in her ec ecosystem of excellence. I think we should... Uh, trademark that ecosystem of excellence, but it's a lot, like a lot, a lot. So thank you, Danielle, for that. And then just some pictures of the planner, which you've already seen. And a little bit about the monthly office hours, which again, just for the $49 today, you get that. But then here's where the program details and benefits start. So again, as I said, twice monthly co-working sessions where you will get your marketing done by doing it with me by your side, uh, live monthly Ask Me Anything sessions, and the super secret community Slack channel, and then best of all, the four marketing intensives. So these are four four-week marketing intensives where you learn a little something and do it immediately. And so one is going to be about strategic networking and you can, these are also collapsible. One about content, especially on LinkedIn. This one's about outreach. And this one is about mastering the money conversation and all the dates will be on the calendar. And yes, there will always be replays. All right, I feel like I'm talking very fast, but I just want to go over the, um, the bonuses and then we can take some questions. So here is what to say when, again, Bob and I, Bob and I's ebook, that's not grammatically correct. Uh, that's all right. And then three videos, how to avoid feast or famine forever, how to care less and earn more with me and Terry and mastering the money conversation. And then we do have a buying guide. If you're still not sure which one is for you, although it sounds like people are pretty clear on what they need there, but 
the way I see it is the simplest marketing planner is for you if you just need a map to follow, right? That's what the planner is. And you want a little bit of community and that comes with the uh, office hours every month then the planner is fine and that's all you need. But if you know that you're just not going to get your marketing done without accountability and guidance, I'm calling it expert-led guidance, then you will probably want to try the 12-month program. It is essentially a year with me by your side. So those are the options. All right. Bonnie, let's take yes. some questions. So first of all, people are keep it, keeping asking, or again, not grammatically correct. People are asking where the link is. The link is going in the chat, you guys. So that's been in there a couple of times. I'm sure Tomas will, will pop it in there again. Mm -hmm. um, there it is right there. So that's a link to go if you want to um, jump in this program. Um, some people are asking, let's see, you've got so many questions here. So, um, can a person participate in the beta help without doing the program? No, the program is the beta help, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah um, that is the program. <clears throat> and one person is saying, uh, let's say I buy the 12 month program. How do I start? We would start in January. Right. And so there will be uh, the onboarding session and we will get all the details together and the people together and you will hear from me about the next steps. Right. Then, it will be you start with me. You don't start on your own. Yeah, you guys will start to get um, messages from Elise and information about how you can join the sessions and all of that as soon as you're in. Um, and then somebody's asking, you know, if I bought the SMP 18 month plan during your birthday bash, yeah. Um, what's what's going on for those? People? Okay, so there were about 100 people. Thank you so much who in June at my birthday fiesta pre bought the simplest marketing plan, the planner and the monthly office hours without knowing what it was going to be. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. And what we're doing is if you want to upgrade to the program, then we'll basically issue a refund for the $61 that you paid for the new planner. That doesn't include the 2022 planner. It includes the 2023 planner. So go ahead. If you know you want the program, then just buy it here and we will issue the refund to you. Trying to make Great. it easy. And speaking of refund, yeah. <laughs> um, you have actually um, added a way for people to try out the program mm -hmm. itself without having to feel like they're risking the $500. Yes, everything, yes. Yeah. Right, okay, so thank you for reminding me. At the bottom of this page, we have the refund. And basically what it says is, if by January 31st, you feel like this is not for you, then we will refund your money. Not a problem. The details are here. That's pretty amazing. Um, and then let's see. A lot of people are asking about the installment plan. Um, mm -hmm. And that's something you're going to get to in just a minute, right? Well, the installment plan is done through the payment um, portal. Right. So if I'm just going to click here, it goes directly to the checkout. And then you have an option to pay in installments or pay now. And so it happens with Shop Pay, which is a part of Shopify. So you decide whether or not you want to do it that way. I'm not offering installments on my end, it happens through the payment portal. And then a um, couple of questions about being in the program itself. Um, mm -hmm. Eve is asking, will this work for someone who doesn't have a real business yet? Just a few random projects completed in different industries. That's such an interesting question. I'm going to stop sharing just so that we can see each other. Um, and Bob, maybe you have a thought about this too. Like, how do you know when you have a business yet? What constitutes a business? And I like to say, I'll just answer first if you don't mind. I like to say that your clients don't make your business. You make your business. And so if you are serious and you've got a couple of projects, then you've got a business. And if you want to level it up, and that's what this is all about, is taking it up to the next level. And maybe to you, that means making it a real business. Or some people think about it as going from freelancer to small business owner. That's fine. However, you frame it in your own mind. But the, the simple answer to the question is yes. You don't have to have 
what you're, whatever you're calling a business, because you're, it's all about learning and doing. And what I said in the video is the beautiful thing about the program is that by the end of the year, you will have already been doing it. And so that's what makes the transformation in your business. So Bob, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Yes. And this thing, uh, which I got from uh, Bonnie, you know, our friend at Avor, MM. So uh, he said, a lot of people talk about offering a service or a product. I have this idea. They blog about it. Doesn't mean anything. Once you have had someone pay you for your service or product, then you know it's a viable business. Okay, I can go with that. One person paying you, then it's real. Obviously more than one, but you know, the question is, will someone pay you mm -hmm. this much money for what you're offering? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the only way to know that is to offer it for sale. Right. I would also say, I just want to add to that really okay. quick. As somebody who just went freelance and mm -hmm. now has a business, um, it also, I think, would depend on how you feel about where you want to go in a year. So by this, the, the end of 2023, you could transform yourself into a business owner mm -hmm. using all this stuff. It just depends on how much you really want to do that, how ready you feel like you are. And, you know, if you're ready to actually like go through with it between now and then. Yeah. How serious are you basically? All right. What other questions? We've got four minutes. You're still muted. I know I'm there's just so many questions here that I'm trying to sort of figure out the best one to give you right now. Okay. Um, are you still going to offer the intensives outside of this? I don't know yet. We'll okay. see how many people join the program and the same okay. for the co-working actually. Okay. Um, so you guys, I will see if I can type as many answers to these questions as I can. Um, a lot of these are individual questions about the installments and stuff like that. Is there a way that they can send us questions after this mm -hmm. within the next hour? Yeah. <laughs> and send it to me, right? Elise at marketing-mentor.com. Maybe someone can put that email address in the chat or okay. in the somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, I'm here to answer questions all day. Awesome. And then can you talk just one more time about the co-working sessions and how those work and what's their sure. twice monthly. And right. So the co-working, I didn't actually give any detail about that. Sorry. So it's a three hour block of time where we all come together on zoom. We uh, announce each person announces and gives their elevator pitch and then announces what you're going to do over the next three hours. And then everyone mutes themselves, video and audio and works. So you're working and there are people next to you working, right, in the next Zoom square. We do a little check-in in the middle to see how you're doing, what progress have you made. And then at the end, we wrap up and everyone says how far they've gotten, basically. So it's just a, kind of a magical thing where if you tell a bunch of people you're going to do something, you kind of have to do it or it's very embarrassing. And it's just the way it seems to work to get the marketing done. Plus you hear what other people are doing and it gives you ideas about what you could be doing. So there's just a very cohesive uh, experience to it. And really quickly about LinkedIn, some people were asking, what if I want to do a newsletter like outside of LinkedIn? Or what if the stuff that I want to do isn't necessarily within LinkedIn? Is that still useful? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That? Yes. Yeah. It will be tailored to the people who are in the group. So we'll see who shows up, right? That's my goal is to give y'all what you need. Yes. Um, also, so are you going to be giving a schedule of the monthly Ask Me Anything sessions ahead yes. of time? Yes. Okay. All right. It will be a schedule. And um, for the bonus videos, are those scheduled or available uh, to work through on their own schedule? Yeah, no, the, actually the bonus videos are in the download message. As soon as you buy, all the links are there, as well as the link to download the what to say when. Right, so you'll get those right off the bat. You can work mm -hmm. through them at your own pace. Um, okay, so <laughs> there's a lot of questions, but I think we've answered the meat of everything. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to say about this? 
I just want to, um, before I thank you and Bob, uh, I want to just talk about what, how I see transformation in a person, you know, in your life and in your business, because that's one of the things we're talking about in this program is the opportunity to transform your business. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean it to be woo woo or like just show up and it'll happen. There is work to be done. But it's really the people who do the, the stuff, right? Do the things. They're the ones who are succeeding. And uh, I just see that it, it's, it's mindset more than anything. And so the reason it's 12 months long and not just a quarter is because it takes that long to shift the way you think about these things, the way you see yourself, the way you see your business, the way you uh, figure out who your people are. All of that is through a process. And so that's what I'm trying to kind of cultivate here. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, I was just going to say for, you know, if you've been thinking about it for a while, mm -hmm. like if you've been, if this is something you've been wanting to do, or you're not making progress, having a, a space cut out for you to show up with at least there is going to mm -hmm. make a big difference. And if all you want is the planner and the monthly office hours, that's fine too, right? There'll be plenty of people joining for that. So no pressure, except you've got 61 minutes because I'm still 61. All right, Bob, <laughs> you want to add anything? All I would add is that, and I could add a lot, but I got an email a few weeks ago from some motivational speaker putting on a webinar and the title of it was do the work. Mm. That's what you're saying. I yeah. mean, this is great. And it's great information. But if you don't do the work, you don't get the result. It's That's that right. simple. It is that simple. Excellent. Bob, thank you so much for you. spending this hour with us and sharing what you've learned in your multi-decades. And Bonnie, thank you so much for being in the chat and <laughs> being part of this conversation. And I really can't wait to have you as my co-host in the office hours coming up starting in December, right? So the next one, yes. oh, I, I guess I forgot one more bonus, actually. If you buy the Simplest Marketing Planner or program today, you will also be invited to the last office hours of 2023, which is this Friday, December 2nd. Uh, and it's always at 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern. So you'll get that too. I just keep, I, I don't know, I keep thinking of things we could throw in. <laughs> <laughs> that is an Elise thing. New That's things right. pop up as you go. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Thanks for showing up. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank Thanks, you, Tomas, guys. in the background. And uh, yeah, we'll see you online. See you soon. Bye.